Welcome to another video tutorial for KISSoft USA. Today I want to talk about the Master Gear module. It's a fairly easy module. Um, it's pretty powerful if you're going to use Master Gears in production to check your gears. And we'll just go through a quick example. So what I've done is I've opened up my KISSoft program and I grabbed, I went to our examples and I just grabbed this first cylindrical gear pair. And you can see that we have consistent uh, calculations in the bottom. We've got a, a nice gear mesh, looks very nice. And uh, we're happy with the design. And what we want to do now is, is define a brand new master gear. So to do that, we go to calculation and turn on our master gear module right here. And we can choose which gear of the basic gears that we have, a 25 and a 70 tooth. We can choose the, either the 25 tooth or the 76 tooth. And so right now I'm going to start with this 25 tooth. And uh, you can see it brings in some, some data from, from our basic data that we already entered and calculated. And now what we can do is we can size the master gear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this because I'm not going to define exactly. If I check this, it means I'm defining that tip diameter, okay? If I uncheck it, then, then the program will actually calculate that for me. So I go ahead and I size this master gear. It gives me the number of teeth, the profile shift coefficient, and the tip diameter uh, at this point. And it also, uh, we have some predefined numbers here for tooth thickness. I'm not going to change that, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this once. Okay. So I run this, and it says data when gear pair master is running with no backlash we have a maximum minimum center distance 184.4956 and 184.4046 um, we can run a report and look at that and it has all the information on this uh, master gear and it has the data when when they're rushing or when the when the gear pair is running with no backlash and it gives you the center distance, max and min. And it also gives you a result for gear tip diameter of the master gear, okay? And the root diameter. So, um, maybe you're interested in the test radius, in which case we would need to understand what our uh, min root diameter or max root diameters are going to be. So we can generate these at either one. I'll just grab it at the least. And I'll consider this composite uh, total radial composite deviation here. Uh, now when I run my calculation, uh, I'm still sitting here consistent. I think I can check this box and I can run this and I actually get some check length on the gear when meshing too. Um, we, get, we get our um, our tip in our root um, diameters right there, okay? This might be the form. So I can run the report, and now I wanted to see the, the um, I wanted to see the test radius, and now I have the test radius according to AGMA here in my report. So I can see the, the max and min radius, and I can also see the, uh, um, this R sub M, if it's important to you, um, min and max, and that's taking into account the total radial composite deviation. And now you have a check length on gear when meshing as well. Okay. So this is a master gear as far as setting the information. What's nice with Kissoft is now you can save this pair, this uh, 25 tooth gear and the actual master gear. We can save this. And it automatically saves the master gear and the single gear um, that you can open in the single module and or it also saves a pair, the 25 of the master. Okay, why is that nice? Well, because now I can go in here and I can open this master and gear one. I'm not going to save that, but it pulls in my master gear, my 36 tooth gear and my... Um, and my uh, original pinion, my 25 tooth pinion, and it gives me 
we'll say not enough backlash. It should be it should be zero, which is what we wanted. <clears throat> but my um, my calculation is consistent. I have a warning, but I know that it should be zero because that's what it's supposed to be in the ma in the master gear. And I can also um, now I can look at maybe I want to look at the drawing for that master gear, and I can specify this for manufacturing. I would do that by I'm just going to open this a little bit, and I'm going to draw this down. I'm going to say, okay, so manufacture drawing of gear one, and here's all the manufacturing requirements for that master gear. It also has the tooth flank, graphs, etc. And this is for the gear pair. So, but I can also go to my single gear at this point, and I can open my master gear that it saved, and I have the data right here. I have a DXF, or I can just go ahead and, and I can even uh, export a, a solid model of that. I go ahead and run my calculation. If I want the drawing on that, there it is for the master gear. Uh, some other things you can do on here, you can play with the tolerances. You can make those what you want. You might have a master gear that already is existing, and maybe you need to um, adjust that to fit some gears that, you, that you're already making. So master gear is, is pretty powerful. It's pretty easy. You can do a master gear for your master gear if you wanted. Um, but this is uh, this is the master gear module. It's 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 pretty nice. It it will make helping define those gears a lot easier and faster for you in your in your engineering environment. If you have any other questions on master gear, you can contact me at kisssoft.com, or you can email me at ty t y dot warner w a r n e r at kisssoft.com. And that's kisssoft, K-I-S-S-S-O-F-T dot com. Thanks for watching.